the most unique and innovative thing that I've done to date is with, with Ye. I think the inspiration was really uh, his mind and his vision. Some people I think don't understand and I don't expect everybody really to understand that. Hi, I'm Dr. Connolly. Welcome to my workshop where I make million dollar smiles on the biggest rappers in the world. So there is a strong delineation between the two words, grill and dentistry. A padded bra and breast implants, grill and dentistry. So what's the most expensive smile that I've done? Close to 3 million. You could use something like a, a rare red diamond It'd be hundreds of millions. <laughs> when we first started with Posty, the concept was red diamonds. I remember going through that process of sourcing it, cutting it, what it was gonna take, and then kind of say, you know, do we really wanna invest $10 million into two stones the very first time we do this and then maybe find out it doesn't work or we have trouble with it? Let's not do that. I think the most unique and innovative thing that I've done to date is with, with Ye. I think when you first look at it, it's a little confusing. It's futuristic and you, you find yourself kind of looking and it's attractive. I think the inspiration was really uh, his mind and his vision. There's a lot of thought behind it. We're so locked into a box in dentistry and like tooth shapes, colors, and all of a sudden somebody comes and says, hey, let's do this. And you're like, whoa, what? To take it a step further, we partnered with a company called Proclaim and they make this oral device and uses 60 jets to flush your mouth. They created a custom piece that he bites into that literally lines up and flushes into portholes that clean everything. So it's genius. Thank God we have people like him that have minds that are so expansive. You know, I, I'd love to say I had a part in it, but you know, I'm the guy that implemented his design. 100% of it goes to him. Some people I think don't understand and I don't expect everybody to understand that. Why do people think that I removed Ye's teeth? The Daily Mail UK, I, I might be mispronouncing the name of the publication. They caught wind of something on a press release and without verification or without anybody, they just ran the press. I think every aspect of what they wrote was inaccurate. Yeah, so Yachty um, came to me, he already had veneer work done. Uh, we put in four 10 millimeters, which is just under five carats, and we trimmed them, we custom trimmed them. He's over a million. Another person that I work with is Travis Barker. And, you know, Travis and I put together this program of, of tattooing bodies while doing teeth. It's kind of like a one-stop shopping where we, we just kind of plan everything. If they're sleeping, they don't feel anything. So we'll run eight artists at the exact same time. So, you know, you wake up from a tattoo like that and your body's in a pretty good place. So Gunna was at the jeweler and Isaac called me on FaceTime with Gun. Can we put a P diamond in Gun's too? I'm like, can you cut a P out of a diamond? And we, we cut it, we cut a P. Offset is an extremely smart individual. A lot of the things we have on him, I'm gonna replace, you know? So you know, the nice thing about diamonds, you take them out, sterilize them, they're brand new, it's like they were, they're impermeable. Yeah, his stuff is electric, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Give me another year when we're really done, be popping. So OBJ's $2 million smile, his stones are D flawless. You know, no inclusions, colorless, custom cut, as good as it gets. You know, up until this point, grills fit like a sports guard. So what we did was embedded magnets and then it just fits on the outside and literally Staps in place. All right, so now let's check out some other dentists' work. Looking at Trippy Red, I mean, this guy is just redefined what we can do with grills, the design work, the metal craftsmanship, and then Trippy just kills him with the personality and his whole aura. I love it. Looks like Drake has a, what I would call a rose petal cut diamond. You know, the way I look at some of these things is, you know, we do diamonds to enhance the smile. This doesn't really enhance the smile in my opinion. It's just kind of doing something to do something. Um, there's a lot of glue used to cement this. Diamonds don't really adhere to anything. You can't glue them. So I would imagine this has fallen out a number of times. It doesn't look bad. I think I'm kind of neutral. It is what it is. Also, my guy Quavo, again, executed well. Hats off to Johnny Dang. And, you know, Quavo wears them well. Nice work. Uh, looking at Lil Wayne here. Um, this looks like permanent dentistry to me. Micro pave, probably a white gold alloy. You know, we've all seen these on Lil Wayne. 
for quite some time. You know, I don't know if I could ever remember seeing him without these. Uh, they seem a little large to me. There's, there's something very iconic about this as well, because Lil Wayne is probably one of the first people to be mainstream with permanent dentistry um, that has some diamonds paved into the metal. Not super hygienic from a dental standpoint, catches a lot of plaque, catches a lot of debris. Other than that, I love Lil Wayne and I love the look because I love him. So you gotta love it. Um, I actually had a little bit of contact with Gucci Mane um, when he had this done. My opinion on this is I feel like the teeth are a little large. And then we look at the way that diamonds are adhered to the veneers. Um, they seem to be protruding from the veneers as if they're glued to the surface. Um, I've seen that done a lot. Um, I've seen it done on some of my patients. I've replaced a lot of these. You know, Gucci Mane is an icon in the rap world, so he could pull off anything. As much as I'm not a big fan of the way the diamonds are here, still Gucci and he still pulls it off well. I'd probably do it a little bit differently, but I can only imagine the dentist that did the work is doing the best of his ability. Kodak Black. I love Kodak Black. Again, we're looking at some Johnny Dang removable grills here. Um, Kodak wears it well. Masterful. Travis Scott. Different color stones. The canines have an original shape to them, and the, the photo is beautiful. Travis wears them well. A 10 out of 10. I love it. I love it. Thanks for coming to my workshop. Hit my Instagram if you want to see more.